In this video, I wanna share with you a little story. It's about a guy that I randomly met on the internet last week. Sounds a little bit dodgy, doesn't it? Anyway, this guy, he was able to increase the speed of my Amazon affiliate website, bestroofbox.com, so much that I was able to get a Google PageSpeed score of this, and this on the desktop. So yeah, that's pretty impressive. Huh? So let me explain exactly who this guy is, what they did, and what you could do if you want some of the same. Let's go. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Hope you're all well. Just very quickly, if you're new here, why not subscribe? You can do so by clicking on the subscribe button below. Make sure you click the bell to be notified when I upload new videos and also when I go live. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could click the like button. It really does help me out and it helps other people find my videos. So this video is all around website speed and in particular how you can increase your score on the Google Page Speed tool. Regulars to my channel will know that page speed is something that I've tried to improve a number of times. I've done a few videos on it and I've messed around with different plugins and different settings and different hosting companies, but I've never really been able to get the Google page speed score as high as I'd like. For mobile, I've always been stuck around 20 or 30. Desktop has generally been a bit better, but you know, I've heard that Google um, takes page speed quite seriously and it can affect your rankings on the search engines. And ideally for your mobile side of things, you really wanna have a score above 70 on Google PageSpeed. So when I received an email last week from someone who just watched my live stream on the Tuesday, saying how much they'd enjoyed the stream, of course, but they also went on to tell me that they were a speed optimization expert and that they could probably get my Google PageSpeed score much higher. Now, of course, at first I was a bit skeptical and I basically did a bit of research. They'd sent me a link to their Fiverr gig. So I went to check that out. By the way, here you go, I'll put it up now so you can have a look at it. And yeah, I checked out the Fiverr gig, all looked good, loads of positive reviews. They were based in Bangladesh, which sometimes does set alarm bells ringing, but you know, I thought sometimes you just gotta give people a chance. So we had a bit of an email conversation and I basically said, look, if you can get my page speed score up um, for free, of course, <laughs> then I'll make a video about it. So that's what I'm doing right now. So anyway, I created them a username and password for my website. I sent them over my cPanel details, which is always a little bit scary to send these kind of credentials over to people that you don't necessarily know. But yeah, I, I had a good feeling about this guy and his, his Fiverr profile looked good, loads of reviews. So, you know, I was fine with it. So yeah, sent over some login details and then waited a couple of days. Now, before I share with you exactly what happened, let me just show you where the site was at before he started doing any work in terms of uh, page speed scores. I'll put them up now. You can see that on Google PageSpeed, uh, we had a mobile score of 21 and we had a desktop score of 72, which well, is not terrible, but you know, that mobile score is a little bit on the low side. I also ran the site through GT Metrics, and here you go, you can take a look at that. And we were getting a page speed score of D, 63%, and a Y slow score of 66%. And it was saying that the loading time of the site was 15.6 seconds, which is pretty slow. So that's how well the site was doing. A couple of days passed and I got an email back saying that, uh, you know, it was all done. The site was running much faster. So I quickly ran the site back through Google PageSpeed score and this is the score that we got. And you can see that the Google PageSpeed score on the mobile has shot up to 76. Desktop score is up to 94, which is fantastic. Then if we take a look at GT metrics, we can see that the page speed score has gone to A, or 97%. The Y slow score is at B, which is 85%. And the fully loaded time, in terms of how long the site took to load, is only three seconds. So a fantastic improvement. But what did he actually do? What did this mystical speed wizard do to my site? What magic did he cast over the web pages to make them load so quick? 
Well, luckily he sent me a full email detailing exactly what he's done, and I'm gonna share with you a few of those points right now. By the way, towards the end of this video, I will give you full details of his service. You'll find links to everything, of course, in the email. And in fact, he's offered a discount to WP Eagle viewers if you're interested in using his service on your site. So yeah, keep watching for details on that. The first thing he did was install a new plugin. The plugin is called Auto Optimize, and it works alongside the existing speed plugin that I was running which of course is WP Fastest Cache. So what he's done is he's turned off all of the JavaScript and the CSS optimization features of WP Fastest Cache, and he's moved those over to Auto Optimize, which appears to handle that side of things a lot better. So WP Fastest Cache is still doing all the caching side of things. It's also doing the gzip, but Auto Optimize is now doing the CSS and the JavaScript optimization, and it's also doing the image lazy load. As well as installing the plugin, he's also done some manual changes to the site. Uh, the first was he's optimized the uh, posts plugin that I've got on the homepage. He's made sure that it wasn't loading the images too big and then scanning them down. So there's a setting within there so that you can crop the images and he's set that to 450, which is just slightly bigger to the actual size that the images are shown at. He's done some intelligent font loading, which I believe requires a bit of manual work. I don't know if there's any easy way to do this. Basically by default, the site was loading up 25 different fonts, but I was only actually using five. So he's done some coding magic there to, to make sure that it prioritizes and just loads the five fonts that I'm actually using. The next thing he's done is he's added a brand new CSS free class thing, which um, I'll put it up now so that you can see it, it'll be on the screen somewhere. I think it's called, let me just have a look at my notes, a uh, font display colon swap. Of course it is, I knew that. And, Basically what that does is it loads the web page using your default uh, kind of browser fonts like Arial or whatever, something that your browser's already got installed. And then when the fonts have actually downloaded onto the browser, it will then swap them over really quickly. You can't even notice it. It basically does that, I think. So yeah, it uses the fonts on your computer or in your browser. Uh, while it's waiting for the other ones to download. So obviously this means that the page loads much faster. Again, I believe that was some manual coding that he did to the site. Um, he didn't mention any plugins or, or any easy way to do that. Speaking of fonts, he's also uh, made some other changes to the fonts. He's tweaked the way that Elementor uses Font Awesome. So he was basically telling me that Elementor loads all these fonts, uh, basically again, every time you're looking at the website, uh, even though you're not using them. So that takes up time and resources when they're not necessarily needed. So he's removed them from Elementor and he set them to a lazy load. So they'll only be loaded once the page is actually you know, displayed and rendered, therefore saving a load of time. Again, this was done with some custom JavaScript coding. So yeah, I don't know if there's an easy way to do it. It might be a plugin that helps you do that, but yeah, he just kind of hacked away and done it manually. Speaking of hacking away and adding lazy loads, he's also done the same to the YouTube video, which is on my homepage. And you know, a few of us have been talking recently in the live streams and stuff about the effect that YouTube videos have on your page speed. Um, which is basically, yeah, they slow your site right down. So having them on a lazy load can get around that. And yeah, he didn't use a plugin for this. It's, it's hard coded in again. So mm, yeah, maybe a developer is required to get those really high page speed scores. And that's basically it. He did a few other CSS tweaks here or there. Again, adding lazy load to things like background images and, and other elements that aren't necessarily required um, to display the page correctly. and they're kind of nice things to have, but you might as well load them at the end. So he's made some adjustments there. And as you saw, the results were absolutely fantastic. So how much does this service cost? Well, as I said, I got it for free on the understanding that if it worked and if it was good, I would make a video about it, which is yeah, what I'm doing right now. But for you guys, if you were to go over to Fiverr right now and pay for this service, it would come in at $235. He also offers a premium service for WooCommerce type sites, which generally can be a little bit slower. And for that, it's 295. Now that does sound a little bit expensive, but if you've been spending hours and hours and hours on your site, you know, messing around with different plugins, trying to get your page speed score up, then it's probably worth the investment. Um, you know, just a couple of hundred bucks and you know that you're gonna get a specific solution for your website that's gonna get your page speed score up to the level that it needs to be. Now, SJ, oh, which is his name, by the way, I probably should have mentioned it earlier. Yeah, SJ 
has kindly offered to give you guys a special discount. This is only for WP Eagle viewers. He's offering $25 off your order. To take advantage of this offer, you can't actually order through Fiverr because Fiverr doesn't use coupon codes. But if you send him an email, I'll put his email down there somewhere, you'll also find it in the description. Send him an email, mention me, also mention the coupon code Eagle Speed, which I'll put up there. Put that in your email, let him know what you're after, and he will then uh, send you an invoice that you can pay with your credit card, PayPal, whatever, uh, and get the project underway. So there we go, I hope that was useful. Hopefully you can take a little bit from what I've said in terms of the work he did and apply it to your site. But you know, if you just had enough messing around with Google page speed and trying to get your site to run a bit faster, drop SJ a line and he will sort you out. Um, as I said, I haven't been paid to make this video. I was just really impressed with the service and I'm really impressed with the speeds that I'm now getting from my website. So I think that brings us to the end of this video. By the way, if you've not seen any of the other bestroofbox.com videos, I've done a whole load of videos all about how well the site's doing, all the work that I've done on the site. I'll put a link up now to that playlist up there somewhere. I never remember which side it is. Do check that out. The last video, actually, the one before this one, um, was all about the latest earnings. And in fact, last month was the best month ever. So do go check that out for all the details. I'd love to know your experiences with trying to improve the speed of your website, what worked for you, what didn't work for you. Do leave me a comment below. I do read all the comments that I get and I'll do my best to reply to as many as I possibly can. If you're not already subscribed, you can do so by clicking on my face, it's up there somewhere. Why not check out my vlog channel? You can do so by clicking on my other face. And here are a couple more videos chosen specially for you. Keep yourself safe, keep washing your hands, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.